Madam Speaker and members of Congress, pursuant to the Constitution and the laws of the United States, the Senate and House of Representatives are meeting in joint session to verify the certificates and count the votes of the electors of the several states for President and Vice President of the United States. After ascertainment has been had that the certificates are authentic and correct in form, the tellers will count and make a list of the votes cast by the electors of the several states. The tellers on the part of the two houses have taken their places at the clerk's desk. For what purpose does the gentleman from Virginia rise? Parliamentary inquiry, Mr. Vice President. In order to follow with the speaker's instructions that only a limited number of people be on the floor, may I ask how one would make an objection or make a parliamentary inquiry in the future if you're not on the floor but in the gallery? Uh, debate is not permitted in the joint session. I'm, the parliamentary inquiry, Mr. Vice President. I am not attempting to debate. I'm not attempting to debate. I'm trying to find out how a parliamentary inquiry or a parliamentary point of order would be made in following with the speaker's uh, request that most of us not be on the floor. How do you make one of those points of order when you don't know what's going to happen later? Uh, respectfully. Yes, sir. The gentleman's parliamentary inquiry constitutes debate which is not permitted in the joint session under Section 18 of Title III, United States Code. Are there any objections to counting the certificate of vote of the State of Arizona that the teller has verified appears to be regular in form and authentic? Mr. Vice President, I, Paul Gosar, from Arizona. For what Sports purpose and does the gentleman from Arizona rise? I rise up for myself and 60 of my colleagues to object to the uh, counting of the electoral ballots from Arizona. Uh, is the objection in writing and signed by a senator? Yes, it is. It is. Are there further objections to the certificates from the state of Arizona? The chair hears none. The two houses will withdraw from joint session. Each House will deliberate separately on the pending objection and report its decision back to the joint session. The Senate will now retire to its chamber.